Uh, my name is Ron Kaufman. I'm the Vice President of the MFOA for 2012. I will be the President next year. Um, I work for the Town of Caledon. I'm the Deputy CAO and Chief Financial Officer for that municipality. And it is my pleasure to be the chairperson for today and give a little relief to Donna, our president, who took on the task yesterday and did a very good job. So, welcome to the, the last day. And I'm just going to go through a few of the highlights that I saw from yesterday, what we went through, and I think it was a very good day. Just some things that I noticed. One of our first speakers was Bill Forward, the Deputy Minister for Municipal Affairs and Housing. And the thing I noted was, yes, it's great to have a summer afternoon, but summer is over, and I liked his idea that my two favorite words are fiscal uploading. I would like to see more of that. I know the Region of Peel enjoys to see that as well, so that we get a little tax room at the lower levels so that we can do a little more, especially infrastructure deficits, which is a big issue that we're facing in Caledon. I'm also pleased to say that, I don't know, I think we're gonna have to dream up this kind of a scenario every year for the AGM because we did have the best attendance ever for our annual general meeting yesterday. I don't know if it was by design, if Donna did that by design, it was brilliant. Anyway. Uh, we are going to change the format. Just so you know, from, from here on, hopefully the board will agree that we should change the annual general meeting so that you do get things like an update from our executive director, Dan. And it was good to hear from Gordon Duff and Marion Van Bruen Essen so that you could hear some of the other good things that we're trying to do at the MFOA with the various committees to provide better service to the members. The next session we had was MPAC with Arthur Anderson. Some good news, he did talk about things like technology, that they are looking at electronic building permits, uh, requests for reconsideration and electronic submission. That's all good stuff. Technology is the way of the future and it's uh, good, good things that they're doing there. And hopefully that will result in assessments being on the roll within 12 months. We had someone else, another finance officer, got up, challenged that. I totally agree with that as well. 12 months should be the outside realm of what they're doing. They should get the assessment on the roll a lot faster than that. We then went to lunch and Paul Huber, counselor from the City of London, and it was kind of nice to hear how he told us a couple things about what's important to him as a counselor and what's going on in London, and that's, uh, you know, they're very focusing on skills development young professionals and succession planning and I'm sure those are those are all issues that are facing us in our lives in our municipalities as well now I went to a couple of concurrent sessions and I have to, to make a comment I'm sure they were all great but I can only talk about the two that I was at and the first one I went to was David Stewart who talked about asset management plans in a smaller municipality David's one of the graduating interns he did a great job if, if you have a chance to talk to these young folks that are the interns, they are bright, smart, energetic people. He did a great job at his session. In fact, he said, I mean, the title of his session was Asset Plans in Smaller Municipalities, but David was so good, and he had standing room only. They brought in extra chairs for people to sit down, but I have to tell David that he had, the region of Peel was there, Mississauga was there, Whitby was there, Caledon was there, so it wasn't just small municipalities. Um, I learned something from what he did, and I think probably everybody in the room did. So I want to congratulate David for taking that initiative and doing that session. Next one was Connie Wheeler from OMBI, and partnering for Service Excellent. And excellence, and yeah, they're into data collection analysis, how to use that performance measurement for building, building that type of data into decision making and budgets and performance management of actual staff. And then we fi finished up the day, and I know not everyone came to this, but for those that did, the Young Professionals Network is, is created, it's alive, it's well, 
It's a great thing. I'm very proud that Emily Harris from the MFOA and Kim have taken on an initiative to help from the MFOA perspective, but the Young Professionals Network is a great thing. Uh, met Julie from Whitby, who is going to be the chair, the newly elected chair. She's great as well. I was very impressed with what she said. I think for us more mature finance officers, from what I can see with the young professionals, we're in good hands with people to succeed us as the leaders of municipal finance. Now, Julie said she's going to pursue active networking, mentorship, and education, and that's great. And then they had their social, and it was very well attended. In fact, when I came to come over here for our little cocktail reception, they were still going strong over in the Hilton. So they were having a good time over there, and that's great to see. So the next thing I'd like to do is thank Watson & Associates for sponsoring Casino Night last night. And I'd also like to congratulate, once again, the MFOA's Excellence in Finance Award winners, Desiree Kennedy, Cam Weldon. Desiree was here. Very pleased to see her get that award. Too bad that Cam wasn't able to be here, but he's a well-deserving person as well. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank the exhibitors who were here, and thanks to everyone that showed your support for the exhibitors and the trade show to see what services they have to offer us. <laughs>